All right, Walker Nation, it's Dave Solo back with you at Walker Soccer Con Atlanta. This is day one, and I am here with the beautiful, talented, amazing, intelligent Merrick Murphy, a.k.a. Megan from The Walking Dead. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. It's awesome to see you again. Oh, thank you. you I have... A I'm getting a butter beer from you soon. Oh, so. yeah, we just went to uh, Diagon Alley. We just checked it out. Have you been oh, yet? Really? I'm um, going next weekend. Oh, we're going to have to go next weekend oh, then. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's amazing. You're going to love it. Just uh, make sure you're a little cautious of the Gringotts ride. It gets a little nuts. Okay, okay. Is it like is it like um like the Hogwarts ride? Like a little bit. It's it's like Hogwarts, the Mummy and Transformers had a baby. Oh. So yeah. Well, all of our geeky fandoms. Absolutely. All, all in one place. So what do you think of uh, Walker Soccer Atlanta so far? Oh, it's been great so far. I met a lot of talented people. Uh, I got a zombie princess dressing, uh, dressing, <laughs> drawing from one of the vendors over there. And it is, I guess, gorgeous. It, the talent that they put into it is Wonderful. It's not very gorgeous. It's more gruesome. Yeah, maybe gruesome is gorgeous to us in this kind of world. Right? Yes. We're gonna have to get a shot of that and show everybody that one at home. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's uh? How long have you been in Atlanta? Have you been here for just today, or did you get in yesterday? Um. Well, I'm actually from Georgia. I got. I'm from north of Atlanta. So we just drove in yesterday. Nice. Just. It's like an hour. And you'll be here all weekend. I will. All right. So. And you got a birthday coming up, right? Yes. What do you What do you want for your birthday? Um, my dad is actually building me a sewing studio in our basement because I love to sew. I'm really excited for the Thread season premiere, which is a teen project runway on uh, Lifetime. So I'm like working. I'm on. I want to get on that show. So I'm working really hard. Great. Maybe you can sew up some Walker Nation gear for us. Yeah, yeah, of course. We can. I'll pay you in butter beer. <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm down. With that. How's the astrophysics going? It's going really well. I got accepted into a talent, to, a talent program called Duke Tip. So it's one step to one more step to MIT. Um, I'm going to University of Georgia on December 6th and 7th to take a, to a lot of classes like engineering, um, writing. So I'm super excited. Awesome. Make sure that you're going to, uh, we're going to look for you to save the world. If a zombie apocalypse ever happens, yeah. you're going to save the world. Last question. And the last time we asked you what you do in the apocalypse, right? Well, let's say the apocalypse hit. You have to make a choice. You get bit in the arm or the leg, and you've got to take one off. Which one are you choosing? Oh, that's tough. I think I'd take off my arm. That happened on Adventure Time, so... <laughs> it's got to be the right thing to do then. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't take off my leg because then I couldn't walk or run, which is kind of important. That's a very, that's a very good point. Uh, any, uh, any, any words to young girls? We have a daughter. Any, any words for young girls that, that want to go after you know, their dream like you did? Um, well, just be yourself because being who you are is probably the most important thing because we don't, people don't care about who you're trying to be like. Just be who you are and be ambitious. Chase after it. Amazing advice from one of my favorite people. Thank you so much for your time, Eric. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs>